Wisdom, the final frontier to true knowledge. Welcome to Wisdom Trek, where our mission is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your captain on our journey to increase wisdom and create a living legacy. Thank you for joining us today as we explore wisdom on our second millennium of podcast. This is day 1119 of our trek, and it is time for Meditation Monday. Taking time to relax, refocus, and reprioritize our lives is crucial in order to create a living legacy. For you, it may be just a time alone for quiet reflection. You may utilize structured meditation practices. In my life, meditation includes reading and reflecting on God's Word and in prayer. It is a time to renew my mind, refocus on what is most important, and making sure that I am nurturing my soul, mind, and body. As you come along with me on our trek each Meditation Monday, it is my hope and prayer that you too will experience a time of reflection and renewing of your mind. From the very earliest of ages, a child will proclaim loudly if they do not think a situation is fair. Not much changes as we grow into adulthood. In today's meditation, let us consider life is not fair. We all desire, advocate, and push for fairness in all situations. The problem is that we often forget what may be fair for me will be unfair for someone else and vice versa. The fact is that life is not fair. That's not pessimism. It's a fact. It's not a complaint. It's just the way things are. I don't like it. Neither do you. Ever since a kid down the block got a bike that we didn't, we've been saying the same thing. That's not fair. Where did we get the notion that everything in life should be fair? At some point, and preferably early in life, someone needs to say to us, Whoever told you that life was going to be fair? God didn't tell us that. You see, we have a warped concept of fairness. It is not fair that Jesus had to become a sacrificial substitute for our sins against God. It is not fair that we can come boldly to God's throne of grace when we continually turn our affections away from Him. The world has been tainted, so we should expect that life will not always be fair, at least from our own perspective. We will have troubles, but our perspective should be one of joy, because when we go through those troubles, it helps us become more like Christ. James chapter 1, verses 2 through 4. Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any time come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when our faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. Troubles are part of the package but so is the blessing of being complete and needing nothing. When we struggle with the concept that life is not fair, it is because we are viewing life from a worldly perspective. As a Christ follower, we are building God's kingdom, which has not yet fully arrived. Jesus tells us in John chapter 18, verse 36, Jesus answered, My kingdom is not an earthly kingdom. If it were, my followers would fight to keep me from being handed over to the Jewish leaders. But my kingdom is not of this world. When you are tempted to cry and complain that life is not fair, realize that God has already provided an advocate for us through the Holy Spirit, as we are told in John chapter 14, verse 16. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate who will never leave you. It is during these times when we are having a pity party that we need to choose to be satisfied with the blessings that we already have. Hebrews chapter 13, verses 5 and 6. Don't love money. Be satisfied with what you have. For God has said, I will never fail you. I will never abandon you. So we can say with confidence, The Lord is my helper, so I will have no fear. What can mere people do to me? So when life seems unfair, realize that from the world's perspective, it is. God is our advocate and helper, which makes all things in life fair. And that's a wrap for today's meditation. Next week, we'll continue on our trek on Meditation Monday as we take time to reflect on what is the most important in creating our living legacy. On tomorrow's trek, we will explore another wisdom quote. This three-minute wisdom supplement will assist you on becoming healthy, wealthy, and wise each day. Thank you for joining me for this trek, 
that we call life and encourage your friends and family to join us. And then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,118 daily treks or read the Wisdom Journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. And I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player so that each day will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek Podcast Day and Journal. As we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.